Hey everybody, it's Christopher Naiman. Well, today's going to be a little, it's not going to be about sewing, uh, it's going to be about product for sewing. Do you know what this is on the floor? This is a disintegration of a cone of thread, serger thread, that I dropped. Yeah. So we're going to talk about that. Stay with me, don't go away. You want to you want to see this. Welcome back. All right. So, I tend to drop things when I got my hands full cuz I'm doing so much and I dropped these spools of serger cone thread on the floor and the plastic inside them just dis look at it's disintegrating. Look at that. Look at that, look at that. And there's nothing wrong with the thread. It's the plastic. So of course, you know, I knew, oh, of course, it's made in China, of course. So here's the little, let me set up that tag here so you can read it. 100% spun polyester, made in China, of course, okay? Now, on the other hand, now this, this, this thread is probably several years old, because when they go on sale, I buy a lot of them and I put them in my drawer. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with the cone of thread. The thread itself is fabulous. It works great. Can't complain about it for surging. Here's two newer spools of that cone thread. And I got them all at Joann's. I buy all my cones of thread at Joann's. So whatever Joann's carries or has on sale, when they used to have four, four dollar, two, four dollar. And see, this, this is a newer, and this is a different type of plastic. These are newer. And if you can read inside there, it's so right. Joann's, Joann's stores. And that says, okay, I can't read through the camera. I'm trying to read through the camera. Let me see what it says. It says, uh, well, it doesn't say where it's made. Okay, there's nothing in there that says where it's, where it's made. So it must have been on the outside package possibly where it's made. But that tag inside is not showing, not showing where it's made. Can you see that? Anyway, this, this is not disintegrating. This is probably newer. Now, before you all start bitching and saying, oh, that's what you get for buying cheap thread, you need to go and buy some better quality thread. Well, let me show you some better quality thread. You see what this is? Madeira. This is the thread that's sold at sewing machine dealers. And look at that. I dropped that. And that's disintegrated, the core inside. This is not the first one. I actually went to pull the cap up on a couple of these. Went to pull the cap up and the pressure broke this in half. So that plastic core inside disintegrated. This is not the first time this has happened, but this is the first time that I'm showing the world this. So you've got this cheap thread from China on cheap plastic that disintegrates. But the thread is fine. I have no problems with the thread. Then you've got where they must have updated the, the plastic and it doesn't disintegrate anymore. Then we've got this expensive thread that you buy at your sewing machine dealers. And it's made in Germany. Um, so if it's made in Germany, that must mean that the plastic also is made in Germany because the cord on several of these spools that I have just snapped in half. You put just a little bit of pressure and it snapped in half. This is, I think this, this is the third or fourth spool of thread I had that did that. So this is just to prove to everybody that when you talk about buying cheap prices at cheap at box stores versus dealers, um, you can see they're all using the same product. It's like years ago and they used to talk about the sweatshops making clothes and they, 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 they tore Kathy Lee gift for a new asshole because she was having her clothes made in sweatshops in Bangladesh. And who else is making their clothes there? The upper crust designers. So, you know, and there's that disintegration again. So you don't know anymore. You know, you just don't know. And because corporations shipped everything overseas to be made, we can't even blame Made in America. And thank God, because this is not real quality. This one is now. China got better and replaced the plastic. But Germany is having problems. So this is if the thre thread and the plastic 
are made in Germany, as this spool of thread says, and this is even breaking, and this is not, this is newer. This spool of thread is, is probably just about three years old, maybe. And no three-year-old spool of thread, three, four-year-old spool of thread should be doing this. Unless it's been sitting in, the fa in, a, in a warehouse forever. But still, that plastic should not disintegrate like that. Just like, see how these disintegrated? That one disintegrated. And then, but this one, this one's only a couple. Uh, no, actually, actually, this one I just bought. I just bought last year. This spool, these spools I just bought last year. And these are a couple, two, three, four, maybe the most five years old. And this is the most three, maybe three, four years old. The plastic shouldn't be doing that. So just to prove that, you know, when they say, oh, yeah, that stupid thread, it's bad thread, whatever, you can get bad quality in any brand. And now, just to recap on all of this here, it's not the thread that's bad, it's the plastic core that it's spun on. So we know this is made in China, right? We know these are made in China, but this one says made in Germany. So does that mean Germany is making their own plastic cores? Or is that coming from China as well, but it doesn't say that? Truth on labeling, that's what we want to know. So there you go, my friends. There you go, four for a dollar. Or if you're going to spend full price, expensive, thinking you're getting quality at the dealer, it doesn't matter. You can see that. It's not mattering anymore. Okay, you all take care. Check your thread. Squeeze your core. See if it cracks on you. And I don't mean squeeze it like a King Kong grip. Just get a little tug and see if it cracks on you. All right, take care. Talk to you all later. Bye.